Hey bullies, I hope you're doing okay. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can manage your anger. I know most of you, when you're angry, you tend to burst into rage, like you're gonna grow out of your shirt or something. You're not Hulk. So stay tuned, cause after this, we're gonna be a better person than our previous selves. So let's dive. <laughs> If you're new here, you are welcome. I am James Indo, aka Wuditabo, your brother indeed. Okay, so the first thing on the list is before we proceed, don't forget to like, comment, and share this video so that it may benefit other people like you searched. They're looking for contents like this, so make sure they find it from you that you shared. Remember, we're not selfish in this channel, okay? So uh the first thing on the list is move away from things that make you angry okay if something or someone may tends to make you angry just move away for some time and then you come back trust me in that way you're cooling off remember our uh, anger is like fire it's like rage i mean you'll be burning and you want to take it out you want to show it that you are angry you want to you just want to smash you just want to break you just want to you just want to finish with what makes you angry. That's why you find most people breaking their cell phones, they're breaking the TVs, breaking their laptops because maybe work is making them angry. I mean, breaking the windows. I mean, beating everyone up, breaking bones. I mean, you don't have to do that. You just have to move away from what made you angry. I mean, for some five minutes or 10 minutes and then you come back. I mean, trust me, it works. You're going to be cool. You're going to be calm and you, you'll you be thinking straight. Remember, when you're angry, you're not thinking straight. That's why most of people do things when they're angry and then they come back and apologize and say, it was anger. I was angry, hence I did that and that. Okay, so moving away from what makes what made you angry or who whoever made you angry, I mean, you're going to cool off. Never mind people calling you coward or calling you like all these other names. Just do it for you. Because when you're angry, you might end up doing things that will land you in jail or maybe will get you into trouble. So we don't want to get into trouble. So first thing, move away from what made you angry. Just for some minutes and you'll come back. Trust me, you'll come back calm and cool and you'll be thinking straight okay so let's hey have you subscribed have you subscribed be honest are you gonna make me angry i don't want to be angry at you man just push that subscribe button and we'll be best friends trust me i'll be your favorite brother that you talk to about anything okay so moving to number two you you if you're angry if you get angry just go drink some water I know you're probably saying, where do I get time to go drink water when I'm angry, when I'm furious, when I'm burning? I mean, as we said, like rage, like fury, like anger, it's like it's like fire, like you're burning. You need something to cool you off, okay? You can go drink some water or go outside for some fresh air. As we said at point number one, like move away from what made, what made you angry. I mean, going to have a glass of water will cool you off, will have you like being calm and thinking straight, okay? Remember, we want to uh, manage our anger. We want to control our anger, all right? We don't want to show the whole world that we can be angry. We don't want to show the whole world that we can break some bones. We don't want to show the whole world that we made to be furious, okay? Unless those who who, who trouble you, those who provoke you, those you can show that you are angry. You can be angry at times. You don't have to smile at anyone who plays you for a joke or a fool, okay? 
So, but those people who love you and want to be around you, don't, don't always be angry. Remember, anger makes you uh, age fast. You're going to be wrinkled. If you're always frowning, if you're always grinning, if you're always angry, you're going to be, you're going to wrinkle fast. You're going to age quickly. And we don't want that. We always want to look our best. We don't always want to look young. Okay. Remember, we want to be attractive. We want people to be attracted to us. We want company. We want clients. We want, I mean, we want whole load bunch. We want audience. We want fans. But if you're always angry, you're not going to get that. Okay. If you want a video similar to this that talks about center of attraction, I'll drop the link in the description below. And then you go check that video. I mean, it's the best performing video on my channel so far. So you can go check that and then you can get some tips on how you can attract people in your life. Okay? Comment down below if maybe anger got you into trouble sometime or it made you look back to the community or your family or your friends. I mean, comment down below. I mean, a lot of times like we tend to show our rage, tend to show our anger like if someone provokes you, for example, and uh, you undermine that person, you know that you can, like, beat that person to the ground. I mean, you want to show that. You want to show people that you can do that. You can, excuse me, you want to show people that you can beat that person up, okay? So you tend to act quickly and do some things that will get you into trouble i mean i know people who have killed because of anger i know people who have damaged a lot of stuff because of anger i know a lot of people who broke families broke friendships or even um like relationships or marriages because of anger all right they think after they have acted that I should have done like this. I should have acted like this after they've acted so badly. So we don't want that to happen, okay? If that ever happened to you, like, free, feel free to talk about it in the comments below. I mean, I've like I like to chat to you about it, okay? Anger is not a good thing. I know people think that anger shows uh the alpha in you. It shows that you are you are masculine, you are a man, or you have power. It doesn't show that. Um, I forgot that saying in Arabic, but uh, it says something to this effect that um, a strong man is not the one who wrestles, but the strong man is the one who controls himself when he's angry. It's something like that. Those who are Muslims or Arabs will correct me on that, but it says that the best, the, the strongest man is not the one who wrestles, who fights, who breaks things, but the best, the, the, the strongest man is the one who's able to control himself while he's angry, okay? So be that strong man, okay? Control your anger. So moving to number three is... um address what makes you angry or whoever makes you makes you angry address them i mean people might love to pick fights i mean in front of a crowd someone can pick a fight with you or provoke you or i mean human beings are very social creatures you can call that person to the side the two of you can talk about it Tell, you, tell them that you don't like what they're doing and trust me, they'll understand. But if you talk to them with fury, with anger in front of people, it might lead, lead into a fight or chaos because they want to show the whole world that they can take you. They want to show the whole world that they can challenge you. Okay, so call the person uh, uh, on the side and talk to them about it. Tell them that what they're doing is not right. You don't like it. Okay, or maybe move away and then the next day approach them while they're alone and tell them that what they're doing is not right. You don't like it. Okay, trust me, they'll understand. When someone is alone, far away from the crowd, I mean, those attention seekers or fame chasers, if you approach them alone and talk to them, they understand. This trick is used by teachers. 
you know those kids who trouble in class they uh tease teachers or they uh what do I, what can i say they uh insult teachers in front of the whole class i mean the 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 wiser teachers or the smartest teachers what they do is they wait for the class to 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 end and then they call that particular learner alone and talk to them about it that what they did in class was not right trust me that learner will never do that again i was one of those unfortunately but i have learned a whole lot from there okay i mean my life orientation teacher back in grade 10 i was making jokes about her while she was writing notes on the chalkboard and then what happened is that she had that i was insulting her making jokes about her but what she did was not to insult me in the whole in front of the whole class what she did was to wait for the class to be dismissed and then she called me alone and she had a chat about it with me she told me that what i was doing was not right and then what if it was my parent in front of the whole class and some learner was doing that and i had to understand because she was having a uh, heart to heart conversation she told me what i wanted to hear something that i was not taught before but if she acted otherwise if she insulted me in front of the whole class maybe i was going to retaliate and talk back to her and it was not going to end well so address what makes you angry so that you can resolve your problem you can manage your anger okay so this is it for today's video guys i hope you've learned something from it if you have something to add or something to ask about if you would need any clarity you can Tell me in the comments below if you wanna you want clarity on something or you wanna add on how you can manage your anger. I mean, you are allowed to do that. Your opinion matters, remember? So uh, that's it, guys. I mean, have yourself a good day or good night.